What up, ladies and gentlemen, Jesse Warden here. Today I wanted to show you a comment I got on my video for pure functions, same input, same output, where I'm going over the various rules of pure functions. And this is a very long video that I recorded. It was 14 minutes. This one's going to be shorter. I wanted today to show some examples of pure and impure functions because this comment really brought to light a very emotional problem that I had when I was learning this stuff. It took me like six months for it to really click. And I think it was because of the same problem that Choice here points out on my YouTube video. He basically says the input examples just look like glorified versions of A equals one, you log it out. A equals two, you log it out. You're showing how references can change, how variables can change. What's the point of the purity argument here? The concept of purity isn't really being driven home in my examples he or she's talking about. And just to show some of the few ways that how reference can change, like what does that make sense? It's not about references. It's about what John Hughes, one of the co-creators of Haskell talked about. He says, immutability changes everything. And it really is that monumental shift of your mind. Yet at the same time, the concepts of functions you already know. If you're watching this video, you probably already know about functions. And a lot of the concepts of making them pure, you actually already know it really is that simple. The subtlety is what really differentiates a pure function from an impure. Hopefully this gives you a better understanding of the differences between two. If I figured if I took simple examples, compare and contrasted, you have a better understanding.